Hi guys. I didn't do an early morning one because you know, I took the day off a little bit and slept in, but um, my daughter's getting ready to play tennis. So I wanted to talk about pre-live angst and pre-game angst for sports moms because we all deal with it, right? When your kids are getting so nervous before their game and you as a home business mom getting nervous before you do a live like this, right? So that's what I wanna talk about and I'm doing it in my car, you know, quiet place before I go watch. This is Ginny. I didn't introduce myself. Ginny, learnwithginny.com is where you can find free training for your home business. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get on my newsletter so that you don't miss any other cool tips or stuff I want to share. So last night I shared um, in my newsletter about belief in that movie. I don't know if you remember it, but it was Dragonfly, you know, and how dragonflies popped up everywhere. You know, until he believed that there was a message from his wife. Something like that. Anyway, so here are the five tips that maybe help. Maybe, maybe will help you and maybe will help your kids. So, number one is focus on the task. Just push all of your angst about the outcome out of your brain. I mean, literally. I picture it just going down a river. Um, my buddy Ray does a meditation and he he pictures it going down a it was like a I don't remember it but you imagine something connected to your, to your brain and you best basically download those thoughts down away from you into the earth ground them away from you and then focus on the task on what you have like I have a list here I have five things I want to tell you so I'm fo I have to focus on that and then I press live so focus on the task. For the sports people, for tennis, I, I told my daughter, focus on see ball, hit ball. That's it. And then keep it in balance, you know, stuff like that. So number two is imagine, imagine that you're just practicing, that it's not that big a deal, that you're just practicing. Imagine yourself practicing the way that you want to perform. And that is also called visualization. Athletes do it before um, their Olympic sports. So look it up, you know, download some meditations to help you learn and practice how to do that. So the next two things are psychological, physical type triggers. One is smile, just smile, because it automatically makes you lift your spirits. The other thing is to do a victory pose with both hands up in the air or just jump up and down for joy, something like that, that just gets you going and happy and excited, okay? And lastly is set aside the outcome. Perform as though you don't care how it turns out. Like on this live, who cares if you like it or not? Somebody, it might help, right? I don't, it doesn't matter. I just gotta put it out there because that's my message today. I hope that helps and I hope it helps your sports moms with your kids. Um, definitely get some meditations and stuff like that and practice visualization because I really think those are powerful. So make it a great day. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to do another video that's just going to be an instructional video on use, making routines on your Alexa app. That's kind of cool. Anyway, that's it. Love ya. Have a great day. See you next time.